Hi guys, and welcome to SAE, the home of the creatives, introduction to acting for screen. My name is Gary Lewin, I'm the director of Stepping Stone Performing Arts, partner of SAE, and we also created the Acting for Screen course. Tonight, we uh, are going to be discussing um, why this is such an incredible course, um, what's so new about it, what makes it a little bit different to the courses out there already. And uh, you'll also get a chance to meet the writer of the course, Steve Deneen, who I'll introduce in a second, uh, and the tutors of the course for Liverpool campus and the London campus. Um, but without further ado, let me to introduce Steve Deneen, please. Hi, there. Hi Steve. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Um, nice to see you too, buddy. Uh, well, yeah, exciting times. This is the very, very first short course uh, online open event for a course at SAE, which is ridiculously exciting. We're very privileged to be here. Um, but would you like to give a little bit of introduction to yourself and who you are and, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, well, uh, uh, my background is um, in acting, uh, as um, many tutors can say. Um, we start out, uh, you know, with um, a youthful sort of, you know, desire to act and desire to perform. And, you know, over the years, you start to uh, crystallise, a, 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 I guess, yeah, a, a process. And and uh, I just wanted to put that down and start to you know uh, really set that down and and you know think about passing it on and and um, that applies both to uh, my theatre work and to the screen work that I've done and so you know getting involved with you um, Gary on this um, has been a, a a real you know journey I mean it's been a long time in the plan hasn't it It certainly has yeah and uh, again I'm, I must say for you guys. Um... Steve joined us uh, when Stepping Stones first opened in 2020 and has run our acting for film course that we run in Oxford. And this course kind of developed and grew um, into what we're about to explain and share with you guys today, which is this ridiculously exciting uh, 12-week short course that SAE uh, are going to be running in Liverpool and London. Um, yeah, so the, the, the thing that gets me really excited about this course in particular is um, what makes it so different. Uh, this course is completely different to another, you know, normal acting for screen course, shall we say. We're not going to be just in a uh, village hall or a drama studio with a camera mm. and a bit, you know, bits and bobs of equipment. You know, we've got the, the absolute privilege and luxury of working with the insane equipment at SAE um, and delivering our course, you know, with all this. Amazing, they got, you know, people are going to feel like they really belong on set and feel like they've had a really good understanding, right? What do you think well, about I, that? I, I, th I think that's absolutely right. I mean, there there are some super uh, acting for screen courses uh, going on um, in lots of parts of the country, I'm, I'm sure. Um, uh, but what you say is absolutely right. I mean, the, 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 the key thing, one of the key things is it's, uh, it's a recorded medium. And uh, being a recorded medium, it's all, it's all about being played back. Um, it's about refining your work and you can only redo that if you've got the uh, if you've got the material to review and to, to learn from um, and while I'm sure there are other other schools that can offer that um, uh, in terms of uh, the opportunities uh, for uh, putting your stuff on real being right next door I mean uh, people in the vicinity really close by who are going to be centrally involved with um with your course uh from the other side of the camera um is i don't i don't think anyone else uh does that i i can't think where that would be offered i mean that's why partnership with sa is so extraordinary absolutely and i think that the uh, the one thing that we haven't mentioned yet which i'm really excited about is this collaborative event this collaborative um structure that we've managed to create with the, with the partnership and it's the ability that that the actors people who are, who are studying this on this course in particular are going to be obviously learning the fundamentals and development and you know growing within the 12 weeks but they're going to be working alongside creating working relationships networking to create working professional relationships with um with people who are actually going to be wanting to make movies you know, they're going to be working with film, you know, people who are looking to become film producers, filmmakers. And while they're learning about certain aspects of the camera, you know, our actors are learning about that and they're learning together. And that is something that, you, like you said, is, is not being done anywhere else in the UK at the moment. We will be the only place that offers this collaborative collaboration of actors working alongside film filmmakers. 
And I think that can only lead to better quality work, better understanding of how things work. And because I think that's half the battle, right? Learning about the acting side is one thing, which obviously we'll get into in a minute. But I think yeah. the idea of actually knowing what's going on when you're on set, like, because it can be quite overwhelming, can't it? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I've read lots and lots of um, instances of people walking, you know, onto the set for the first time. And I, I remember my first time on set, uh, I'd never, I hadn't really planned for that. I mean, I had the sides ahead of time. I knew what I was going to be saying and I, uh, I, could, I could picture it in, in my head beforehand of the sort of very vague idea of what was going to happen. But I don't think I expected at all quite the complexity and quite the number of people who are actually going to be there and and just how extraordinarily embarrassing that first day was um i i don't know what i was imagining i mean you know people are probably a little wiser now but it still is pretty intoxicating yeah absolutely and i think that one of the things that is when we kind of set up to create this course we kind of said that we wanted students who complete it to when we you know if you know when and if they were you know lucky enough to ever get on set for real and actually do this job that everyone wants to get involved in, that there wouldn't be one section of the of, of being on set or in post or in anything that they're looking at there where they would feel what would feel alien to them. They would feel completely and utterly comfortable in any scenario thrown at them. Be that in the audition room, be that doing self tips, and be that being on set. I mean, I, we've we've heard stories from many of our guest tutors who um who literally been on set and like didn't know what ADR was and you know having to learn mm. on the job as it were and actually there's you know, it's a great way to learn, but actually, why why learn on the job when you can actually have a good understanding before you even get to it? I mean, that's yeah, that's important. No, absolutely. Um, uh, I mean, I had I had a conversation with one of our students uh, recently, um, uh, which was the first uh, very early on in their their time with us um, on the uh, active screen course that uh, I currently teach, um, and uh, he said, and I've been asked this many times before, you know, can you can you um can you can you get me film work can you can you get me on screen and i said well no i mean no one can guarantee that but what i can do what we can do with this course better than any course i can imagine is prepare you really well if you manage to get there so your first day on set will be right i'm familiar with this i know what this guy does this all looks familiar i know exactly you know where i have to where i have to reach with this performance um and i know you know i know what my what i look like in frame things like that i mean just uh, things that you know are in many ways a mystery to um uh, to 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 actors when they first walk on set absolutely i think this is where a lot of i'm not saying that other drama schools like fall down there, but the the lack of ability to actually you know introduce um actors to these these scenarios you know like what you know the, these actual you know set productions what they feel like what's it what's it like to be on green screen what's it like to mm. be in an adr studio what's you know we, we have that option here and i think again we are the only place who can do that and offer that well you're, i think you're touching on there uh, you know a, another element of uh, the positivity of this partnership is um they are they are essential um you know components of an actor's uh, weaponry if you like now i mean the ability to uh, be able to manage adr the ability to um you know to to work on green screen i mean these used to be terrifically niche things and now they're incredibly common yet the sort of technological uh, equipment you need the sort of equipment you need in order to you know do that properly to you know uh, rehearse that properly to get used to it properly you're not going to find that next door to the most uh, you know the most well equipped um acting for screen course in um in a school or a, or or a or a, a, a theater or a, or a village hall as you say where are you going to do that but but at SAE it's upstairs absolutely yeah it's great and i've been there it's actually downstairs and upstairs it's, it's insane <laughs> um yeah so the sort of main question everyone here is to find out is like you know what can students expect to, you know, go through on this course? How, how are they going to kind of, you know, what are they going to go through on this 12 weeks? How is it broken up? What we're going to get into and what do they achieve at the end of it? Well, I mean, in terms of what they will walk away with at the end of it, um, uh, the, the, you know, actual tangible um, things that they should be able to walk away at the end. 
um, will be a, um, a, a showreel of, 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 uh, of, of scenes that they've done, which have been shot uh, by people who are on the, the cusp of professional industry. I mean, you know, right on the cusp. Um, uh, carefully chosen, tailored material, um, uh, monologue, duologue, and um, uh, uh, and group and group scenes as well. Um, so there's, a, you know, a, a really useful industry uh, ready piece of um, uh, advertising and marketing that they take away with them at the end of it. Um, so that's that's the end game. That's what they walk away with. Plus, um, as you say, the training. Um, and the familiarity with things like uh, ADR, uh, green screen, um, some presenting, perhaps, um, you know, th those, uh, those elements. I mean, even a bit of um, film combat, possibly. I know that's one of your particular favourites. <laughs> I do like it, in fairness. It's good. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, the course itself is, 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 is being really, you know, uniquely designed, again, with the collaboration in mind. That and it's broken into sort of three sections, isn't it? Like the fundamentals, where you know students for the first mm. four weeks, you know, you'd be looking at three hours over two sessions, so six hours a week, and they'll be breaking down and learning the fundamentals of you know how you know this this stuff works, you know how acting on camera. And it's basically we're looking at the acting for screen, not acting fundamentals, but how acting works and you know directly how it works for camera. Yeah, I think that's kind of a really you know um, it, it's it's valid to sort of mention that yes, you are going to learn some fundamentals of acting, but it's it's all tailored for screen. Well, it, it is absolutely, and and uh, I mean a good a, a good screen actor and a good stage actor from the fundamentals perspective, I don't think there's a lot of difference between uh, between the two. I mean, you have to do all the same kind of uh, you know. Um, given circumstances work and all the same kind of background preparation, character building um, uh, and, and bottom lining of a scene that you would have to do for any theatre show. That's absolutely essential. In fact, probably more so um, for film. Um, but uh, really, I mean, I, I think we, 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 when we talk about it, we, we talk about a kind of uh, a, a combination of, 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 of art, which is that side of it, and science practical scientific um, uh, techniques which you need to become familiar with if you're going to make the most of yourself on camera and it's those elements that we will be uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, seek to cover in tandem with um, enhancing your you know hopefully natural abilities to to build a character um, uh, essentially I mean we won't show away for things like typecasting because Typecasting and being aware of your casting type, I mean, really aware of it, is uh, a fundamental um, of, of fundamental value in terms of your ability to screen act. Um, I remember Gabriel Byrne, the, 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 the wonderful actor, saying that he didn't think the best film actors were good at playing other people. He thinks the best film actors are good at playing themselves. And uh, the more, more I think about that, the more I think that's really very, very true. Um, yeah. Uh, because essentially on film you are yourself you'll never be anything other than yourself you're, yeah. you're not asked to age up on film you're not asked to age down you're not asked to you know play a play a yorkshireman if, if they want a yorkshireman that looks like you they'll find one who looks like you <laughs> trust me there's one out there so you need to get used to playing yourself because that's who you're going to be cast as um brilliant so we you know so we we, we embrace typecasting um, and we think about that a lot um we um think about uh you know about the truth of um uh we we, we use lived experience a lot as, a, as an experiment to um so we, we use people's lived experiences and their own abilities of storytelling and we examine those um um to inform how to uh, uh how to play a character because when you're telling a story about you you tell it better than anyone else could. And the character that you're going to be playing is going to be telling their story better than anyone else could. So uh, while you're playing that character, in fact, we probably shouldn't talk about characters. We should probably talk about <laughs> okay. roles. It's a deep dive. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. It, you're not being someone else. You're bringing that person out of you. Well, that's and, definitely um, a rabbit hole we could definitely go down. It really is. <laughs> 
So after we've looked at these fundamentals as well, like, you know, we go into a development stage, don't we, where we put these into practice. We look at developing these skills over the next sort of four weeks, which takes up to eight weeks into the course. And we get yeah. to do that with the, with the, with the collaboration with the students and the, and, the, and the production course. And they get to look at and get to practice everything they've kind of looked at in the four weeks and they'll be on, they'll be on camera all the time. Well, that's that's what we like to do. I mean, yeah. we're aiming to. I mean, there's going to be a lot of shooting because, um, I mean, if if you can, if you have the facility to shoot as much as possible, then why not? Um, and uh, that's that means it's quite intense for the student, and it's also very intense for the people running the course because obviously, with shooting comes editing and playing back and uh, and commenting. Uh, and reviewing and building on um, what's going well and what could go better. Um, so, uh, and, and really, with the with the with the um, with the uh, association with the production side, um, that gives us um, uh, opportunities to um, have collaborative sessions. Which are, that's one of the things I'm really excited about: collaborative sessions on um, on on the fundamentals of camera work and how 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 a camera um and, and and for instance different lenses will um yeah. uh, impact your performance um audio workshops uh which um is very often trial and error um i've found uh you know you don't very often get to talk to um a uh, a, a sound guy about uh, what they really want and what they don't want um and so that'll be that'll be really illuminating yeah and I think after all of this put together, the, the beauty of this course in particular is that when the video production course goes into um, their post work, or editing and you know coloring all that type of stuff and all the cool stuff that they do, uh, our guys, the acting for screen guys, are really get to look at the specialist skills, the casting, how they're cast, how casting works within screen, mm. how um, all those special skills I mentioned at the beginning, like ADR, you know, green screen, uh, yes, stage combat, um, self taping, massively important at the moment, obviously with. COVID's definitely done some things, but self tapings become prominent and how how that, you know, how people can get around that and how they do that themselves for auditions and stuff. Yeah. I was reading today that um that the the, the what casting directors want from a self tape is self tape is changing all the time. Um, you know, they they expect higher quality, they expect um, you know, expect real clarity, uh, they expect a certain length, um, you know, and yeah. that's that, that that that's a that's a course fundamental in itself. The art yeah, of the absolutely. Thing. Well, I think that, that what we could do is now we could actually introduce uh, the Liverpool coach and he can uh, introduce himself a little bit about, you know, his background, uh, why he decided to join this, you know, this amazing course to teach because obviously he's really passionate about it as well um, and what makes it really, really difficult and, you know, different and, and unique and again, how he, how he teaches as well. So I'd love to introduce uh, Zach Devereaux, um, who's a professional actor. Hey, Zach. Hi, mate. How are you doing? Not too bad at all. Um, we're going to give you a bit of spotlight. Let you go, you know. Let you chill. Let you talk, and uh, we'll pop back in a little while after <clears throat> after you run dry. <laughs> sure, no problem. No okay. problem at all. Nice right, one. Uh, so, hi guys who are watching. Um, I'll give you a bit of background about myself. Um, I'm Zach Dever. I'll be teaching the Liverpool campus, and. I trained at East 15 Acting School down in Essex um, and I majored in acting and stage combat. Um, I've worked in the industry as both an actor and a fight performer and I've also got a few credits in other various areas such as producing, um, script writing and um, to being a fight director as well. Um, and... I've worked in film, uh, theatre, all types of acting that you you can probably imagine are out there in the industry. Um, I've taught various combat workshops um, over my years since graduating. And I've also taught workshops in acting as well. And when, um, when Gary approached me with this opportunity, I was really excited um because as they've sort of said already it's a it's a very unique course um one of my biggest things of drama school is kind of like when you learn to drive um you don't actually learn until you get on the job um they can prepare you you're very prepared you learn your skills your craft as an actor um but when you finally sort of 
get onto that film set, as uh, Steve said, you can be very much rabbit in the headlights. Um, so, you know, are jumping at the chance to better prepare actors for the the real industry, as it were. Um, and, you know, whilst doing it in a safe environment where we can make those mistakes together and work out what to do right. Um so yeah, I, ju- I jumped at the opportunity to teach this, and it's the SAE Institute. It has brilliant. I've been there myself. The Liverpool campus. It has, you know, green screen rooms, stuff that even I didn't have access to at a top five drama school. So um, the you know you're filming all the time. You're working on scenes. Um, I'm really really excited to uh, start working, start teaching. Um, and getting down to the nitty gritty of uh, what is film acting. I think that's a really good point you've said as well. Like the fact that you know we have, um, you know, you are you you were you know a fantastic drama school, and that you know that's what this course is so unique for is the fact that everyone's going to have this amazing opportunity to work with these fantastic facilities with people who are learning the other side of the job, as well as actually learning how to do it yourself. I mean, it, it just doesn't happen anywhere else. Um, yeah. even at the best drama schools in the country. So this really is a, a unique and exciting opportunity for people who want to learn. Yes, yes, it is. And um, I think a big difference as well, drama schools, you know, are, they're, they're fantastic, but as well, they're working to a set curriculum that's not all, always necessarily current and modern. An advantage that um, I have being a tutor um, and also the tutor for the London campus have is we're working actors. We're in the industry at the moment. We're shooting all the time, different films, TV, stuff like that. We know what's required. We're self-tape, you know, you mentioned self-tape auditions, Gary. They're the new thing, um, that they are the future and they have now arrived. And especially, as you said, since COVID, that is what we're working off of. I'm taping from home with an iPhone as an initial audition for stuff tv shows for netflix and that's yeah. that's what it is you're no longer going there live you're doing initial audition at home set up and that's one of the things we hope to get you comfortable with in front of your own camera as well as cameras that we're using that are the uh, amazing 4k cameras yeah brilliant yeah, well thank you very much Zach. and i think um obviously we're going to stick around and for those who have joined us late as well all this has been recorded and will be on the SAE website so you can you know rewatch it all and uh, listen to anything that you might have missed um, but I'd like to now uh, introduce uh, Sayan Sarvan who's another professional actor who's going to be coaching the, our London campus. Hey Sayan. Hi hello can, can you hear me okay? We can hear you fine yeah. Perfect perfect how are you doing? So a little bit, I'm not too bad thank you yeah a little bit like with Zach I thought we'd give you a little bit of spotlight uh, you can introduce yourself a little bit about your sort of background your sort of um, what you've done, your experience, and you know wh- why you think this course is a great opportunity for people. Sure, yeah. Um, so right now I'm writing a seven-part uh, limited series for a major network, um, and most recently for Screen, I was in a series called The Baby on HBO, um, a love story about two women, which uh, between so that was me and Tanya Reynolds from Sex Education. Um, Things We Never Said, a BFI film, um, and um, It's a Sin uh, by Russell T. Davies. Um, And most recently this year, um, Five Shorts at the Young Vic. Um, And before that, The Boys Are Kissing at Theatre 503, which is negotiating the transfer now. Um, My, I think my passion with also coaching and teaching whenever I can in between shooting and now writing um, is really led by how I began. Um, So I come from a a very um, conservative cultural background. Um, I'm from a minority where acting as a as a woman is is very frowned upon. Um, So I started acting when I was 16 um, because of an open audition at the Lyric Theatre Hammersmith. Um, and then I was just acting in theatre. And 
I start. I went to a random drama school. I didn't know what I was doing. It was called LCM. It doesn't exist anymore. It was part of University of West London Ealing. But I was fortunate that one of the tutors, Paul Harvard, really took an interest in me, um, and um, really helped. He really helped me to focus. He gave me all of the skills that otherwise I wouldn't have had access to. Um, and I'm I'm just very fortunate to him for the career that I now have. Um, I'm really driven by representation. I think it's really important for us to have people on screen from all socio-economical backgrounds, from all ethnic backgrounds, from all sexualities, from all um, gender identities. It makes our stories richer. Um, in terms of the training um, with, with what Gary's setting up here and why I'm so drawn to it. When I was training, yes, I had the great, you know, teachings from uh, Paul, but what I didn't have um, is that fundamental core training for screen. Um, and I never, I, I thought I would be in theatre, no, but I would actually do so much screen. So when I started and I was like dropped into into needing to know how to do self tape and how to act on camera. Um, I remember when I graduated, I, I, I was cast in a DC series called Krypton, and I didn't know what to do in front of the camera. I had no idea. Um, I've been to the London campus and I've seen the facilities, and if I had that, oh my God, I, I, I just, I could have done so much earlier on. And it's like a playground. It's like a set, it's like an actual set. Um, it's insane. Um, the green screen, the cameras, you know, your, your ability to play, um, I think is really phenomenal. I think what you'll, you'll get with me in, in, um, in the class is I'm really led by, um, like someone was saying earlier there, the fundamental kind of core principles and studies that I believe you need to know as an actor. Um, so what we see on our screens now, naturalistic acting, or the acting stars that we see on our screens and on our stages, I believe has all come from the teachings of Stanislavski, Uta Hagen, um, Stella Adler, and I'm very much informed by them, um, and more recently, Declan Donnellan, um, and going further back, Michael Chekhov. They really fill my, uh, my toolbox. Um, and uh, so, so we'll be drawing a lot from those references. They're not references, are they? They're, they're such a solid base that you need to build uh, a character. So whenever we come in with scripts, with, with sides, with stories, we're really going to be mining the stories so that we know the world that our character lives in. Um, and so that, that can be added onto the base, which is us. Um, and then just... I'm really passionate about film acting. Um, I'm really, um, obviously, um, I'm really passionate about cameras. I've got a great relationship with cameras. Um, I own a lot of cameras. And <laughs> the, the dialogue with a camera, the way you move with it, the way you communicate with it. I remember Michael Caine saying, it's your friend. It's like a glowing light that wants you to be close. It's the best friend, the best lover. It doesn't need you to give them attention. Um, it just wants to be around you. Um, and just navigating that relationship, but also giving you the skills to just be in front of it, to not be conscious of it, um, and just to make you confident so that when you do take um, a lot of the jobs that I've got recently, um, especially since and after, during and after COVID, has been straight off the tape. So really giving you the set, the, the kind of skill set of, okay, what's my setup? Where are my eye lines? And what are those kind of core fundamentals to get the job from a tape, which you, which you definitely can. Um, so yeah, just to close off and say, I think, especially when you come from a world that like I came from where I wasn't you know, allowed to watch movies, I wasn't allowed to watch TV programs. Um, I only went to a theatre production because of the kindness of the drama teacher at school. Um, if someone like me had this, 
these facilities, it, it's just life changing. Um, and even if you're somebody that's, you know, the normal thing, of you, you've been exposed to all of that, it's still a great, great plus. Um, because it's an environment where you, you're getting the feeling and the experience that you would at an actual set. So you're going in, you're going in with a knowing um, and therefore a confidence so that you can just concentrate on your job and you don't have to feel overwhelmed. Yeah, that's it. That's it, really. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And uh, as someone who knows Paul Hart very well, I know he speaks very highly of, of you also. Um, yeah. And again, we're very fortunate to have you and Zach on board for this. It's a, it's a very exciting time. Um, but we've also got some uh, pre-recorded videos of uh, other industry professionals who uh, we thought you might like to hear from. Uh, another professional actress um, and a friend of mine and another friend of mine who's also a casting director, also an actor too. So uh, without further ado, enjoy the video. My name's Laurie and I'm a professional actor. Quick little thing about my industry experience is that I have mainly been working in TV and film for the past couple of years. I've just recently filmed something called The Tower, which is on series on series two at the minute. Um, the A Word on the BBC, and I was in Coronation Street for a little bit as well. I originally started in the West End on Thriller Live, and then I made the transition over after that. So I feel like I've dipped my toes into a lot of it um, so far in my industry. And then I trained for three years in musical theatre originally and transferred into acting afterwards, which was very difficult and took a very long time. I didn't know anything about behind the scenes. I didn't know how to operate a camera. I didn't understand shots on the camera. Um, I didn't understand ADR, green screen work, um, self-taping, none of these things. None of these things were taught. It was just, I just went to class, stood up in a room with another actor and we acted out a scene. Yeah, I had to learn a lot on the job. Hello, I'm Stevie Davis and I've been working in the industry for around 15 years. Over the last 10 years or so, I've been working in casting for screen, working as um, a casting assistant for major studio feature films, um, as well as a casting associate and also now a casting director for feature films, for short films, commercials and television projects, so mostly casting for screen. When I started in, in the industry 15 years ago, it seemed like the only route, or it, it seemed anyway, that the, the only route to really get your foot in the door was to go uh, down the traditional training route, going to do three years, uh, a three year course and, and, a, and a BA, or if you were lucky enough to have family in the industry, which I didn't. Uh, and also the other way, uh, of if you were lucky enough to go to a stage school, like a full time stage school from when you were younger and you started working when you were younger and had an agent and, and already had credits from the, by the time you turned um, to a teenager. You never really, at the time, I could never really find anything that, um, that encompassed everything that I wanted to learn. Particularly, I, I didn't find anywhere that focused on, on screen acting for young performers. I always find that it's, it's very, um, the, the, the traditional training for young performers uh, is generally um, sort of built in, in, in theatre, which I think is great because theatre is, is obviously the, the foundation of everything. I found that um, people going, you know, young actors were going off to these auditions for commercials and television uh, projects and things. And in an audition circumstance, you know, they've got just a camera, maybe a couple of people, and they could do the job, they could do the audition well. But then when they got to the set, there's 50 crew members around and all these different lighting rigs, and it just, it was a, a little bit mind boggling. And, and, and that was because they'd had no experience, and that was their very first experience on a set and so that can be very daunting whereas I think I feel like the, the, the collaboration between the students and, and the teachers here um, on, the, on this course in particular it, it's really quite unique and it, and it also gives the young performers the tools they'll need for when they you know hopefully if they go if they decide to move forward with it as a career it, it, it's something that I, I think is really really important to have those skills so that at least you're not going onto a set completely um, you know completely uh, blindsided by it. Um, stepping stones and SAE is super important and actually it is so needed. The the coverage of what you guys do from like the front of the camera to the behind the camera is so important and it's something I never had, never had. We were very focused about being performers, not about learning about the full spectrum of the industry so you understand how it works. Um, and I think it would be something that I would have loved to have had uh, before moving to London, even in Sheffield, having all of that information and then going down to London and training as a performer, knowing I know how this works. When the camera's on me, I know how to, to respond. Um, yeah, it would have been invaluable. And I think it's so important for young performers now moving into the industry to have that, to learn about all aspects of the industry. Because you can read as many books as you want, but you need to get up on your feet and you need to be doing these things. 
I would say to any young performer that's looking, you know, not to necessarily do all theatre, theatre, theatre and all shows and everything, which is, again, I think is is the foundation of it all. But I think that you're always learning. And I think if these young performers can, can learn these these sort of core skills now, early on, then I think that's going to be invaluable to them. And, and I think that the difference between someone who knows a little bit about, you know, where the camera is and it's a few little screen acting techniques and just just little basic things that they can take forward with them that takes years to learn that some adults uh, uh, never learn really in, in terms of actors so I, I think this, this this whole collaboration between um, between SAE and, and the course I, I think it's it's going to be absolutely invaluable to these young performers and what a great opportunity for them as well this course is a good amount of time in length so you don't need to take it's not going to take up three years. I think that the range of what you cover is amazing and that is going to be so accessible to people like me when I was 18. I think that's wonderful and I think it's important. Well, there you go. <clears throat> it's great to hear people who are, you know, linked to the course but not actually involved in it. Like, you know, when, whenever you talk to professionals about this, the first reaction is always like, oh my God, why didn't I have this when I was, when I was younger? I think that's um, it's that speaks volumes because whenever I speak yeah. to someone about it, it's it's the, it's, it's the same reaction over and over. I think Steve, you made a very good point there. You uh, that um, um, uh, the industry moves very very quickly. I mean, Zach, uh, Zach, a little while ago, we were talking, and 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 you said that it's, that the course is intense. Um, it's and it's designed to be intense because um, the industry is intense, uh, and so need to get used to that it's going to be it's going to be fast moving um and the days are gone where you could um have lots of opportunities to um to uh you know learn by a uh, bitter example as it were i mean ideally you want to get past that you don't want to be one of those people who i remember i mean back in the day we're talking many uh, you know long before digital video um was available um you had to wait you know months and months to see the results of your um of your attempts on screen and by that time it was too late um here with this course you know you 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 can see it today maybe definitely tomorrow and you yeah know, and the the learning the the, the 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 amount of time you need to spend learning and uh, and honing is going to be you know shrunk enormously and pe they uh, they really need that yeah and and as um as you said steve um you were talking about the science of um of acting for camera and i think it's probably the most the most important thing really you know a film set at the end of the day or a tv set you get on there and you know, they want you to do a great job with the acting and stuff, but if you can turn up, you're completely 100% professional, you know your lines, you hit your marks every time, um, you, they're going to love you and they're going to have you back for more work, more work, more work based purely on your professionalism, your, the angle where your eyes is hitting and everything because there are people that get on there and they start wasting the studio's time because unfortunately they might not have had the the what I would call this is a an absolute head start for a young actor in the industry. And time and I, is I, very, very valuable in that, in that environment. Um, I mean, it used to be that uh, don't, uh, you know, don't make too many mistakes because film is expensive, but it's really the time that's expensive. Um, mm. And you can be the best actor in the world, but if you don't, if you get on set and you really don't know where to look, if you uh, really don't know the difference between a, a single and a dirty single, or you don't know, uh, you know, how much cheating you'll have to do in a two shot, then, you know, you're in for a really steep learning curve live on the job. And that's not where you want to learn. Absolutely. And the best place to learn would obviously be London or Liverpool in September, which is when these courses nice. are launching for those people who are, <laughs> yeah, nice segue in there, uh, which is when these courses are going to be kind of launching. And, um, I mean, we can't um, wait to get started. And I think the key for it is obviously it's at a ridiculously good price as well for the, for the value of what you're actually getting for the training that's going to come with the course, what you're going to achieve throughout the 12 weeks, the contacts and the networking you're going to be able to make with you know, future filmmakers, current filmmakers, the staff who they're going to be working with, who are all industry professional people. Um, mm. It's absolutely incredible. And obviously, for those who don't know this, this course starts at 999. Um, for 72 hours of tuition 
with the best facilities in the business, with, let's face it, the best tutors in the business too, I'm not going to lie, picking you guys up. Very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, well, when when you can, um, uh, uh, I mean, when you look at the price of a show reel, uh, a standalone show reel by itself, um, I think there's a lot of value here. Uh, and yeah. with with show reels as well, you're filming for an hour, two hours, most of the time. They book you for a two hour slot. You yeah. know, this and at is that your... point as well. You've got to kind of know what you're doing at that point as well. Yeah, you're expected to kind of know, you know, whatever you've got, whatever you've got on the tank. That's what you're. That's what you're working with. Whereas, yeah. you know, this you're going to be coached, taught, trained, um, and you'll be comfortable. I think by the end of this course, which I think is actually key for a course like this. Yeah, and um, I think I mean, we're going to be. Know... Go on, sorry, go on. Sorry, man. I was going to say that the 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 uh, I mean, the, and the professional guidance, which I mean, someone like Zach is going to offer, uh, in terms of you know shortening your journey to find out who you are and who you can play, and and uh, you know maximizing you know your opportunities, um, uh, yeah. certainly in 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 that in that um, arena. Yeah, casting absolutely. and brand casting and branding is absolutely important to know your either your casting or brand yourself for those roles you want to go for is just so important and, like steve said you can tailor the you can tailor the material that these the, these guys will be working from uh, to show them at their absolute best absolutely yeah. i think one thing obviously with the with the with the you know the insane amount of knowledge you guys and experience you guys are going to bring to the table we haven't actually mentioned that obviously we have a ridiculous uh, list of guest tutors who obviously can come in and offer sessions that staff you know students will actually come to work with again all professional industry people who are working in netflix hbo series some other big names that people can check out on our website um and sort of see who they might be working with because you know with a course like this i hate to be so like sort of corny and cheesy but with, it, with, with, with this kind of opportunity the sky is literally the limit we can go we can go as far as we you know we can imagine which is which is really exciting but I have to introduce now uh, also uh, Pat from the Liverpool campus who is, is coming on board. Hey, Pat. Can, can you hear me? Absolutely. How are you doing? Yeah, really well. Yeah, I've been listening in and really interested in terms of the, the content of it all. So, uh, yeah, sounds really exciting, the opportunity here. Um, yeah, I guess I'm a different angle to you guys. You were coming in from Stepping Stones. I work specifically at the Liverpool campus already with our, our current degree students there. Um, and already thinking about the opportunities for kind of collaboration with some of the students that are there doing film. Um, and I know that they're always looking for, for actors to play certain roles in their, in their films and might like the idea of not having to, to cast themselves in, in them. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, look, on a technical side, you kind of mentioned, I guess, around the, the pricing aspects. Um, it's open to everyone from 16 plus. Is, is that right, Gary? Yeah. That's yeah. Right, yeah. Um, and just, I guess it's a fast track 12 week course to, to really pick your brains and, and find out all your kind of dealings within the industry. So yeah, like, I think it's a great offering and we're really excited to try and work with you in the Liverpool campus and, and also my colleagues in London as well. So yeah. Absolutely. And I think if any, I mean, if anyone's got any questions now before we finish, please feel free to, you know, send them through. But um we are also available on, uh, via our website where I can put the, the information now across the screen. So you can, if you have any questions regarding this course, you can email us directly and we can kind of answer anything for you. Also, I will put that in the group now. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm happy to sign up for you guys. It's up to you. Have you guys got anything you'd like to add? Well, after a session like this, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm more than excited actually to get started now in September. I think it's uh, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. and I would just stress that, you know if anyone's got any questions, please don't hesitate just to reach out. Um, put in an inquiry. You know, we will reach out with an email uh, and just guide you through any questions you've got. And you know, I can reach out to Gary or, or any of the guys to to kind of guide you through. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for uh, for joining us. It's been brilliant. Sound lovely. Lovely. Thank you very nice much. Fun. Cheers. See you later, guys. Have a nice evening, guys. Okay. See you Thank later. You.